I mean, we talk about housing all the time, don't we? And we'd love to be able to have a crystal ball and see into the future and know if the house prices are going up or they're going down. And it's just one of those things that no one ever seems to know the answer, the mm. right answer. I know. If only we could see into the future. Staying on housing and tiny homes are totally on trend right now. They offer everything you need without the burden of a massive mortgage. Globally, they're going gangbusters. Last year, we brought you the story of father-son duo Graham and Sam Johnson, who were building their own tiny home out of a container. But it wasn't for them to live in, it was more of a life lesson for 16-year-old Sam. Well, construction on the compact home is finished and they're ready to sell, so let's take a look inside and see what they learned along the way. They say the best way to learn is by doing. And never more so than for 16-year-old Sam Johnson. Turning a container into a tiny home was his dad Graham's idea. It's really to give Sam an opportunity to decide what he wants to do. The options, trades, carpentry, welding and electrical, which you might say Sam is now a master of. No classroom, but one big practical extracurricular lesson. Now Sam is going to router the first groove out. Teaching hard graft, problem solving and the value of a hard-earned dollar. There were milestones along the way. It was a pretty special day today for him. He set his learner's licence exam and passed that. After the costs are recovered, what's left will go towards buying Sam's first car. And it wasn't just about the build, that was a bonus. It was about a bond between a father and son. And Sam and Graham join us now. Lovely to see you both. So Graham, talk us through the build. Renovations, they can be tense. How did it go? Look, it's gone really well, and uh, I think we've both surprised ourselves that we've got through this uh, together. Um, <laughs> it's had its moments. Um, but yeah, the container's absolutely fantastic. Sam's done an amazing job. I'm very, very proud of what he's been able to achieve. And in actual fact, we're sitting on the sofa in the, in the container the other night, and he, sa he said to me that he can't actually believe that he's done it. But uh, he certainly has, and it's more than a container we've built. Uh, we've, we've sort of strengthened our relationship through it, so uh, pretty damn chuffed. Yeah, well, good on you guys. And Sam, this must have been a big learning experience for you. What was the most valuable thing that you learned and um, can you see yourself as a tradie in the future? Uh, yep, I can. Uh, I'm probably going to do a trade when I leave school. It's quite interest me. Um, the most valuable thing that I've learnt uh, over all of this is probably a good work ethic and uh, using all the power tools. Oh, that's fantastic. A good work ethic is so good. Well mm. done. Well, Graham, it's going to the market. Do you mind telling me what it's listed for? Yeah, look, we've uh, advertised it on TradeMe. It's been up there for a week. Uh, we've put it at 45000 at this stage. So if it sells for that, Sam will make a small profit and be able to get his first car. Uh, but ultimately, the market will determine the price. Yeah, congrats on getting your licence, Sam. What kind of car have you got your eye on? Uh, don't know at the moment, but uh, had to be something safe, reliable and uh, cheap to run. <laughs> yeah, and um, Graham, are you going to chip in with a bit of cash for Sam? No pressure. It depends on what we make with, uh, with regards to profit, but uh, it may well be. Um, but I'm just pleased that he didn't say that it was a, a car with the engine and the wheels like the last interview, so he's upped his game somewhat. Yeah, I've got to say, since I last saw you guys, I think, Sam, you've grown about another <laughs> six inches, to be honest, because you are well towering over the top of Graham now. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit worried, because when he fills out in the shoulders, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> you, are, you really are. You guys have got a lovely bond, clearly. Yeah, well done on the build, and best of luck with everything in the future. Thanks very much. Thank really you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Each time we see those two, <laughs> they change. I mean, Graham is getting buffer. Oh, the CrossFit on his That's right, t -shirt. the old yep. CrossFit. And by the second, actually, he's getting buffer. And <laughs> Sam is getting taller every second. No wonder they need to sell that tiny house. They're not going to fit in it. <laughs> exactly. But I just remember, you always remember that new car, that first car that you buy, and it's a real special time, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What was your first car? Mine was a blue, old blue Renault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually wrote it off about four weeks later on the Southern Motorway, but... Right. Were you OK? I, still, I was fine. It was, it was strong as. It was, yeah, it was fine. I was just, you know, but it was, Jeez. I do remember it well as being a great Didn't go car. very well for you, did <laughs> I, it? I was 15. Mm. I was too young to drive, probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah.